Welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to talk about requirements, how to add requirements. Now, I am logging in as Ramu. This person has been added as a developer to this particular healthcare cell life project. So once this user gets into this application, uh, this particular project I mean, I want to go to these requirements and then you try to add. Okay. Now, let me try to, I think Ramu has been added as a tester, I think, QA tester. Let me try to log in as Abdul. Okay. Let me log in as Arjun, see who is who. Okay. This is very important. The reason I want to show you is that depending upon the role, Quality Center will authorize you to do certain operations. So now I want to go to Customize. I want to see what is the role of each people. Okay. I go to the project users. In this, Abdul is the developer, Ramu is the tester, Arjun is the project manager. So Ramu as a tester, when I went inside, it allowed me to do something on requirements. Now let me log in as Abdul and then see what happens. The add button was enabled for Ramu. Now let me log in as Abdul. I log out. I log in as Abdul. Abdul is the developer. This person is also having access to this particular project. Now, once Abdul gets in, we will see whether it allows him to do anything on the requirements screen. Now, I go to the requirements, but if you see here, this add button, new folder, add new requirement, they are all disabled. This is called authorization levels. If you are a developer, it will not allow you to modify, uh, change this or add these requirements. Whereas if you are a tester or a project manager, it will allow that. Now, I am logging in back as the project manager, Arjun. I want to add a few requirements. Let us do that. Requirements can be added in a tree-like fashion. So you can have parent requirements, you can have child requirements. Okay. Now, I add a folder called say login requirements. This is a folder. Okay. You get this as a folder. Now, you can also have, okay, this is the requirements. Now, I add another folder as registration, like users registering to a particular app. They are all under the same level. Under login, if you want to add any folder, you can have this, okay? So, under login, I want to have password settings as a separate folder. You can do that. It will appear as a tree. So, you can do hierarchical tree-like way. At the same time, now this is called a folder. Now, under login, I want to add a requirement. Uh, there are some questions from some audience saying that what is the direct cover status? We will come to that. As and when you add, you will see this. An auto-generated requirement ID is there. You can resize the screens pretty much. You do it in uh, the Excel sheets. okay? And when you add, this time and date is always populated. If you go to the right hand side, there is a priority. And then there is a product also that comes. We will see that later. Under the login, I want to add a requirement. Select the folder. Click this one. Click new requirement. Now you can say give a requirement name. Uh, user login max attempts. So I am just giving. Now I am going to say user can login uh, max three times with wrong password. Okay. This is a requirement. After that, account will be locked. This is one requirement. You can set the priority. Now I say this is a very high priority. Now, products, right now there are no products because this is the same product where we are adding. Now, I click as submit. Once it is done, if I close this window, you could see here, this requirement folders appear in one icon, the requirements appear in another icon, right? Now, you could see that getting added over here. It says not covered. Not covered meaning there is no test cases as of now written for this particular requirement. When you write the requirements test cases for this, you can get this coverage status. You will deal that later. Now we have set the priority for this. I want to add one more requirement underneath that. Then you can say requirement. Click on that. 
uh, login invalid okay or invalid login let us say invalid login let's say user will be notified on screen about invalid login now I say set the priority as uh, high so you could see that again added as that now the, the reason is I selected this and then added this so this became a child requirement so you can have folders or so as parent child you can also have requirements as parent child now I want to add another requirement under registration you select that folder then add a requirement now I'd say registration new registrations now I say new registration must display okay captcha to ensure human data entry captcha is something like uh, it will show a picture in a, in a strange way only a human being can read and then add that so now I added that requirement it comes under registration this way you can keep on adding requirements underneath this this will be instead of writing in a word document or in a spreadsheet you can always have requirements set underneath right now based on the uh, order in which we added the requirement IDs were incremented though they are all it appears as one three four five two six this is the sequence in which we added now if you want to change this okay you can try to move this you can move that okay you can try to move that and then accordingly it will appear also but the thing is this has to be done by someone who is experienced who has the project knowledge usually this is done by the business analyst or the project manager or the subject matter expert in simple terms requirements you can add folders you can add subfolders you can add parent requirements you can have child requirements depending upon the position where you click and then add this it appears you can resize the columns okay now you can also add uh, now right I have set very high etc right now I want to set something for this you can also s directly go like a spreadsheet add there just double click that column then you can add right here anywhere you can make it as a double click and then enter as though you are entering in a spreadsheet suppose if you do not want this reviewed column to be displayed all you need to do is just go here click the select columns right now these are all the columns visible columns now I don't want this old to appear on my screen I don't want this product to appear on the screen I don't want this reviewed column to appear on the screen so visible columns are only like this click OK now you see it doesn't display the old or the product on the reviewed column you can if I want to change this column uh, priority here just drag and drop done so you can resize the column rearrange the columns at the same time either make it visible or if you want to bring that column back you can say I want to have product then move over here click that appears over here depending upon what you want as part of the visibility you can control on the screen so subject matter expert or the project manager or the business analyst will keep on entering folders and individual parent and child requirements in this screen we will end this session here. Thank you.